Hi. In AP World History, you, are, you will encounter many challenges, but have a great learning experience. Here are some ways that you can be prepared for this class. Okay, so there's three tests that you have, to, or three essays that you have to write for the for the AP exam. And the first one would be the document-based question, which is the DBQ. Second one would be the CCOT, which is the change continuity over time. And the third one, what is it? Oh, it's comparison. It's a comparative essay. It's just you just compared the two societies or whatever it is. And uh, those are all the essays that you have to write for the AP exam. Study groups are helpful and a useful tool to use before tests and quizzes when you're working with a partner because it helps you a lot before. For the AP World History exam, you might want to keep your homework to study because it's a big test and you want to practice the essays a lot. It'll help for the AP History exam. The textbook is important for you to do your homework with, and it helps you study for the quizzes, and it helps you in your study groups. Here's what to expect in the AP World History class. Number one, expect to work hard. Nothing comes cheap and free. You have to work really, really hard for success in the class. Number two, expect to have to do your homework. There's no... Uh, no, I didn't do my homework in AP World History class. You must do it. Number three, expect to read a lot. It's a college-level textbook, and I expect you to read at a college level by the time you start reading the textbook. Number four, make sure that you understand how to use the rubrics and to write accordingly. Study the rubrics, know what the skills are, and then write according to the skills of the rubric. And then lastly, Expect that everything that you're going to do in class is related to success on the exam. Everything from writing essays to taking multiple choice tests, <clears throat> everything is expected to be done at the highest level that you have possible. Bye!